Hi there. Hopefully you have watched already uh, the video on exponent laws so that this does not seem like total confusion when I start going through these examples. Okay? Having said that, let's quickly go through these examples. It says write as a single power then evaluate. So single power, well, let's do that. Remember when you have an exponent and then another exponent, we multiply. Okay? So you have a base of 6 and you go 2 times 4 and you get 8. Okay, it's that quick. That is a single power. But then to evaluate means we're going to have to um, go 6 exponent 8. Wow, what a big number. Let's see if I can memorize that. 1, 6, 7, 9. 1, 6, 7, 9, 6, 1, 6. So 1,679,616. Ooh, wasn't that fun? Okay. Next one. We've done both of the things that it asked. Let's do the next. Remember when you see an exponent and then another exponent? Multiply them. So it's like saying negative 4, keep that in brackets, to the exponent 6. Okay? So let's evaluate that. We've just simplified it. Now let's evaluate. There we go. I'm going to put it in brackets to make sure the negative sign is done properly. This calculator, this calculator likes me to type the 4 first and then the negative. This is the Windows calculator. And then the Y to the X, or the exponent button. I hit the 6 and I get 4096. 4096. There we go. We have done both of the things they asked. Let's try this one. Okay, to begin, let's just write it again as 3 over 4, but what's the exponent going to be? Well, you know what to do. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, if you've seen other videos before this, you know that that 4 has to meet, go and meet the 3, and that 4, that exponent, also has to go and meet the 4 on the bottom. Okay? I guess this is simplified, but the thing is, we're now going to evaluate. So 3 to the ex 3 exponent 4 is 81. And 4 exponent 4 is 256. And then from there, uh, you just check to see if that, uh, if that ratio or that fraction is simplified. I'll do that quickly. Um, and when I look at it a little closer, I notice that it cannot be simplified any further. This is as far as we can go. Okay? Let's try the next question. Simplify these using the exponent laws. Remember, simplify means to express as a single power. Okay, let's start left to right here. It's all multiplying and dividing. So let's start with this right here. 6 exponent 3 times 6 exponent 5. Remember, when we have this situation, we add the exponents. And hopefully you've watched previous videos so that that does not seem confusing to you. We're going to add these two exponents. Five, 3 plus 5 is 8. Then we have divided by 6, and the exponent, well, there's a power, there's another power, and that'll be 6, 2 times 3 is 6. And then, if you've watched past videos, and I hope you have, you know that when you're dividing and you have the same base, you subtract the exponents. So you go 8 minus 6, and that is good enough. If we evaluated, we would go 6 times 6 is 36 and write that down right there. There's no need for that because we are just simplifying. We are done. Okay? Next question. When you see a question like this, be really careful. That 5 does not just go to meet this B exponent 4 here. It doesn't just go and meet the 4. It has to also meet this 7 over here. The 5 has to go and meet everybody. Some people call that shower power. Okay probably doesn't look good if I do that in yellow and I say shower power. My apologies. Okay, here we go. A. 7 times 5 is 35. And 4 times 5 is 20. All we did was multiply 5 times 7. That's how we got 35. 4 times 5 is 20. And we are done. Okay, that question cannot be done any further. Last question on this page. The 2 has to go and meet everybody. Shower power. 
This is just a term that some teachers use, shower power. It just means the 2 has to go and meet everybody inside the brackets. So 6 exponent 2 is like saying 6 times 6, that's 36. Now this one, the 4 times 2 is 8, so m exponent 8. And n, well, there's an invisible 1 there, and 1 times 2 is just 2. And that's all we need to do for that question. Let's see if there are more. I think there are. A little bit more complicated. Let's do the numerator first. We have negative 7 on top is our base, and 4 times 7 is 28. How about the bottom? Okay, multiply, same base. We can just write that base right there. When you multiply, you add the exponents, so that gives us 10. Now, we have to remember when we, when we divide, we're subtracting the exponents, okay? So, if we subtract 28 minus 10, we get, nice and easy, it's 18. We are done, okay? This question is done. It doesn't say evaluate. We're still dealing with the instructions from the last page, okay? Okay, here's, let's see if it's the last question. No, it isn't, but let's hurry and do it anyway. Okay. Wow, look at this question. I'm going to start with this exponent first, the bracket and then the exponent. Remember bed mass? So I'm going to deal with this 3 on the outside here. It's not going to meet this 8 and all up here. It's not going to meet these people here. What it is going to do, so I'm going to write them again, um, 8, C exponent 3, D, and then inside the brackets, we have negative 3, exponent 3. Okay? That's going to give us negative, and if you do it on your calculator, you should get negative 27. The 3, this is the shower power part. Okay? Now, the 3 is going to meet the 4. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. So C, exponent 12. And the D has a little exponent 3 there, and 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? That's our numerator. In the denominator, we just have this. We don't need to do anything else. I'm just writing it. We don't need to do anything with the denominator. But in the numerator, we still have to clean things up. Okay? So I'm going to use my calculator and go 8 times negative 27. Well, 27 times 8 is 216, but it's a negative 216. And C exponent 3 times c to the 12th. We have to add the exponents between these two. So that would be c to the 15th, 15th power, or 15th, exponent 15, I guess. d times d to the 9th is d to the 10th. Okay? I'm going to put a little line here so that it doesn't look like it's so confusing. That's the hard thing when you're teaching math and a student gives you some work, sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on. So I'm lucky I can use these red lines or any color of my choice. Now, let's just clean this up and then we're done. What's negative 216 divided by 12? Well, I'm just going to quickly divide that. 18. That's convenient. It's negative 18. We have C exponent 15 divided by c squared, so subtract the exponents, gives us c to the 13th, or c exponent 13. And same with the 10 and the 2 here with the d, the base d, 10 minus 2 is 8. We have now simplified this thing. Let's put another red line here. In fact, let's put a nice little box around this final answer, and check mark. We are done that one. Okay, I think there was one last question on the back page here. Here we go. Are you still with me? Let's try this one out. What's the first thing we should do? Should we multiply 5 times 10? What do you think? I hope you're saying no. The reason why is we have to deal with this exponent first. So when it comes to bed mass, which is a whole other video, you have to deal with these exponents before you start doing the other stuff. Okay. So the 2 is going to go meet everybody inside this bracket. 5 squared, we know is 25, right? 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so we have all of that. I put a bracket around it just, I can, I'll put a bracket around this as well. 
just so that we know we have to multiply these two. And then on the bottom, let's clean that up too. Um, let's multiply it out. Might as well do it now. Um, again, we have, an, we have an exponent. The 3 is going to go meet everybody inside this bracket. So it'll be w, I'll, I'll put it in brackets, w to the 4 times 3 is 12, x 1 times 3 is 3, okay? And then we have 5wx, wow. Okay, we're going to start to clean this thing up. I like dealing with the numerator first and then dealing with the denominator and then taking the top and dividing by the bottom. That's just my way of doing it. There's many ways to do this. So 25 times 10 is 250. And w exponent 12 times w is w exponent 13. And x to the exponent 4 and x cubed is x to the 7th over, make sure that 7 looks like a 7. On the bottom we have 5 times just an invisible 1 here in front. So we have the 5 there. Um, these two, when you multiply, you get w13, exponent 13, and the x's, when you multiply these two, you get x exponent 4. Okay, let's do a final answer right here. Follow the equal signs. Okay, um, here, if you go 25 divided by 5 is 5, but don't forget there's a 0 there, okay? so. 250 divided by 5 is 50, right? And then, wow, 13 divided by, thir sorry, 13 minus 13 is 0. And remember, anything to the exponent of 0 is just 1. So these two cancel. They, I mean, this divided by this, it's identical. Whenever you take the same thing divided by the exact same thing, you just get 1. So it actually disappears here. It becomes just a 1. 50 times 1 is just 50, so I'm not writing the 1 there. Um, when it comes to the x exponent 7 and x exponent 4, I'm going to minus those exponents. And that is our final answer for this question. I also think it's the last question on this page. And so hopefully I'll put some links in this section where I'm talking right now so that you can know which other videos may be useful. Hope you have a good day. and. There is my happy face for the end of the video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe out there.